Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode in the Fortress Craft Evolved series in 64-bit mode survival gameplay. Um, as you may have been or may not be aware, we have been slowly making our base more automated and as you can see behind me you've got the coal that is automated, we've got automatic power and we are working um, to expand the base. So without further ado, um, what we're going to do today is basically you see where the blue power hood is in the middle which only stores 250 units uh, we are going to upgrade that today by making it, in, it into a Mark II. Now, to do that, I can just bring up the recipe for you. Okay, what you what you can see, this is fairly cheap, so it's not too 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 uh, bad to start off with is that you need um, tin, copper and lithium now we have all those ores available um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get the required ores and then I will be back once we have those required ores we will make the part, we will change the part over and we will start making a bit more power and then we will look at what we're going to do in the next episode so I will be back shortly, um, everybody. Hi everybody and welcome back. Um, you can see that I have now got all the um, required components for the power storage mark 2, which will give us 1500 power. So without further ado, we're going to craft this new power storage. Crafting and what we're now going to do is we are going to change the 250 Mark 1 power storage for the new Mark 2 so I'm just going to quickly drain this now do remember that when you swap over a power core you will lose what power is in it okay it won't it won't stay in there okay, I'm going to take the laser up I'm going to take the power core up and we're going to find the new mark 2 place it down and you can see already that uh, power is starting to accumulate and what we're going to do is we're going to put the mark 1 next to it okay and you can see because they're linked together they will also start um, storing power for them um, for, for both for both power sets now we're going to put the laser back again you must fire in the direction stand in the direction you want the laser to fire at okay and you can hear both power supplies spinning up and you can see both of them going up quite nicely Now you can also see the Mark 1 power transmitter is also giving off maximum power at the moment. That's because we've only got one laser on the uh, power cube. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Next episode, what we will uh, possibly do is start getting the iron, the tin and the lithium 
up to our surface base. Now the reason we wish we, we're going to want to do this is because basically uh, we don't want to keep travelling all over the place all the time. So we will most likely work um, on the power supply for the ore extractors and getting the ore to the surface. So if you liked this episode or hated it, do leave comments, leave me a hate or like and I will see you next episode.